Wait is almost over for recreational marijuana sales. The Ohio Department of Commerce released a statement saying it will start issuing non medical licenses Tuesday. Megan Hartnett spent time looking into how these sales will bring back money to the area. Megan, how is this money going to be divided? Issue two, which passed in November, set the guidelines for how the taxes from recreational marijuana are going to be used. There is going to be a 5.75% sales state sales tax along with a 10% excise tax. The 10% excise sales tax on marijuana will be divided into four categories. 36% will go toward the Cannabis Social Equity and Jobs Fund, which State Representative Michelle Grimm says will go to benefit those who have previously been criminalized for marijuana. It'll be able to enhance education, entrepreneurship, legal aid, youth development, violence prevention, and the arts. Um, so, it, you know, it's kind of um, trying to right a wrong that we've had for so many decades. Another 36% will go to the host community cannabis fund, which Grimm says will allow municipal corporations and townships to use the funds however they approve of. 25% will go to substance and addiction funds to help with not just marijuana, but other drugs like opioids as well. The last 3% will go to the Division of Cannabis Control and Tax Commissioner Fund. Although the taxes are divided differently, our northern neighbors in Michigan have already started to see financial benefits of marijuana marijuana sales tax. Two years ago, we received uh, 400000 a little over $400,000. Last year, the township, just on the taxes from the state, received $945,000. Grimm is hoping Northwest Ohio will see the same type of economic benefit. Especially how close we are to Michigan, uh, and that we have to compete with Michigan. So I think we can really benefit from, from that tax revenue, staying here locally in Ohio and in Toledo and Lucas County. Nectar in Bowling Green will be one of the dispensaries that will be able to start selling recreational marijuana starting on Tuesday. An Ohio State University study estimates in five years the potential annual tax revenue ranges from $276 million to $403 million.